sailing through the Paraná River aboard a confiscated $1 million luxury yacht that's being used by Argentine security forces. The ship belonged to Ricardo Jaime, the former transport secretary during the administration of Cristina Fernández de Kirchner. He's currently in prison, accused of corruption. Prefect Pablo Abablaza says authorities are using the yacht because the government cannot sell it. This yacht was recovered in a corruption operation. It is now used by the students of the institute so they can learn how to navigate. We have to pay for maintenance. Everything is very costly. I would rather buy speedboats for our students, but in the meantime, it is what we have. The police says this Ferrari belonged to a labor union leader that represented construction workers. He's being accused of corruption and extortion. The estimated value of this car is about $350,000. But it's not just Ferraris. There are at least three garages like this one filled with luxury cars. The government has to pay for the maintenance and insurance of the vehicles, a cost that people like Cristian Guido says needs to stop. Ideally, if the vehicles are normal, we could use them in operations. The problem is that in this case, the cars are too expensive for us to use. We have to keep them, and it requires a big investment to keep them. Accusations of corruption were rampant during the previous administration. Mauricio Macri came to power in 2015 with a promise to fight it. But he was also investigated because his name appeared in the Panama Papers. Macri is the son of a once powerful businessman who also had dealings with the Argentine state. Never mind the political part. There are within the political establishment links that transcend the party and mix business and political classes, and many of them want all the corruption investigations to be closed, because many, many are involved. President Macri passed a decree so the government can sell the confiscated corruption items. But for now, it has not been implemented. The decree needs to be controlled by Congress, and Congress rejected it. The decree is unconstitutional. I think fighting criminal organizations require us to adapt and implement new methods, but it has to go through Congress, and all political forces should be on the same side. But it's an election year in Argentina, and for now, many in the opposition say the law will have to wait. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.